Hello, my dear students of Czech as a foreign language. Today I'd like to recommend a few websites where you can learn Czech for free. Uh, let's start with uh, mluvtečesky.net. Um, this is uh, a website where you can learn uh, Czech from scratch to about, well, A2 or even B1 or B2. But, well, let's have a look at the English version. The higher levels will be dedicated to medical check. So, as you can see, this website is completely free, but uh, you have to create an account and then you'll be able to see what's in there. So, I think I have signed up. Yes. Okay, well, I was here about five years ago. Okay, well, so let's have a look at the course. Uh, so if we click on the first website, mm -hmm, so that's where we started. So introduction, first a little about the Czech Republic. Uh, well, if you're interested in the system of healthcare, there it is. Life and work. Well, important contacts. But if you want to learn Czech, what you're interested in is probably this. So, first of all, some useful phrases. Well, translate it right away. Or, well, on the right. So, some basic phrases that you might need in your everyday life, but then you can start some systematic systematic studying, and that would be course A1. So, survival check, etc., etc., 15 units, 15 lessons. So, when I click on it, you can listen and and then choose what you hear. So it's interactive. That's the great thing about it. Uh, you can listen and then do something. And at the end of each unit, of each lesson, as you can see, there is a test. So I would recommend it, if nothing else, than the listening exercises. So, uh, course A2 another 15 units, 15 lessons more focused on health as you can see injuries, a day in hospital, human body so this is this was created uh, for students of uh, medicine so the higher levels specialized, but it might be interested. It might be interesting for you too. And then grammar explained, translated. Well, me, a lot of internet. Uh, well, a lot of information for you here. So mluvtecheski dot net. Another website that is for free and very useful is kurzy češtiny. Procizince, uh, .cz, .cz. and here, well, uh, if you're in Prague, you can uh, sign up for their courses, but if you're not, then what you're looking for is e-learning here. Again, uh, very useful materials, so first check for work, check for school, and, well, something for teachers down here. Let's have a look what it's like. So again, why I recommend this is because there are short videos. You can download the videos. When you listen to them, uh, there are exercises, so the first uh, 
again something to do and check how well you understood also writing you can also see exactly what they're saying and then just the most important phrases from here so kurzy češtiny pro cizince e-learning a lot of useful videos phrases exercises for work or for school for the a1 level which you have to pass or at least that's what it's like now uh, at least this year maybe next year it will well not maybe it, it's going to be a2 i believe uh, for the permanent residency uh, it's a b1 for a citizenship for the czech citizenship so trvalý pobyt well if you need you can switch it to english or russian or whatever you might need but i'll show you in czech i you will find your way around in the language you know better so uh what we're interested in here is skouška the exam and again a lot of useful information here for example přípravná příručka so uh, a handbook to help you prepare or ke stažení downloads uh, you can find um, in pdf uh, the previous uh, model exams uh, and the current one of course so going back uh, what i want to show you is this výuková videa so a uh, bydlení, krizové situace, zdravotní péče, policie, práce, úřady. The basic situations you need for this level and this exam. Uh, you can have a look. So there is always the topic, the level. It's about speaking. So that's how you can prepare for the speaking part of the exam. Uh, and there is a video you can see it without the Czech subtitles or with the Czech subtitles and you can also download the script and you can also download download a worksheet so something to work on yourself. Wow, isn't this great? So, this is once again, uh, if we go back, so how to find it, it was, uh, wait a second, well, let's just go back. So, čeština hyphen pro hyphen cizince dot cz čeština pro cizince but if you look for čeština pro cizince uh, trvalý pobyt or čeština pro cizince zkouška i'm sure you will find this website too now this might be for students who are on a bit higher level but uh, well you can try etiketa uh, you can find it on www.cz, so the Czech TV. Uh, of course, there is no simple link here, but if you come to the website of Česká televize, you will write etiketa, uh, the etiquette, and then you click on this first link, and it takes you to the website where I was. Here you click on všechny díly, all the episodes and you can see them the newest first uh, it finished in 2005 or the oldest first started in 2004 well uh, the first uh, video doesn't have the uh, script but if you click on the second so not only 
can you see the video and here you can also see the subtitles if you go to settings titulky skryté titulky it doesn't always exactly show you what people were saying because it might be sometimes simplified but here you see you can uh, well hear what they're saying well see what they're saying okay if you turn it off well you can still still see the person uh, who's using the uh, language for uh, people who can't hear anyway if you look lower what is good about it is that everything is written here all the dialogues so we can look up the phrases that are useful or necessary for the situation that you're interested in okay so that's the etiquette and I believe that there was even so if you go to the website this is the author Ladislav Špaček and uh, you can also take a test a short one well not a short one actually it's quite a long one so you can look at the videos and then take a test or if you go to the videos again Let's have a look at the newest one, sports fans. And here again, the text and some pictures with the phrases. Yeah, well, I think this is very useful also because the videos aren't very long. Usually they have uh, just a few minutes, so it doesn't take you a long time to see them and to pay attention you can look again and again right so Česká televize etiketa that's what you're looking for for a higher level maybe uh, it's also good to use uh, Český rozhlas so if you just google Český rozhlas you will get to this website or you can write uh, www.rozhlas.cz uh, it changes the address itself here you can either uh, choose um, the channel you're looking for so as you can see different channels some focused on music some uh, for children some for the news but you can also uh, look at uh, well other options here as you can see podcasts so many uh, of the programs here uh, can be can be downloaded you can uh, have them on your phone and listen to them wherever you go what you might be interested in um, is Hrychetby uh, povídky or you might buy an audio book so let's have a look at this so, well, what they recommend. Mm -hmm. Well, let's have a look at this. Radka Třeštíková, dobře mi tak. So, these are chapter, chapters you can listen to. Uh, it is probably a radio play. Um, well, the only thing is that you cannot see the text, so this is just for listening. If we go back, Četba na pokračování, rozhlasová hra, radio books, oh, sorry, radio plays, um, povídka. Well, what I found there, pořady. Okay. 
was so called uh, minutová hra. Mm -hmm. Well, not here. So if I go back. Mm -hmm. Here. Okay, so minutové hry. It's uh, just one minute. And you can also see the script here. So again, it's very short. And you do not only hear, but you can also read what you hear, or you can check if you understood correctly. Okay, and finally, this is not for listening, but uh, it's for reading. And this is Městská knihovna v Praze. The address is uh, mlp.cz. And right now, you can find a lot of ebooks that you can download for free. I think you can download some of these, uh, even if it's... Uh, if uh, even when the library isn't closed, uh, because uh, some of the books uh, were written more than 70 years ago, and so the, so the copyright uh, doesn't apply anymore, or it can be distributed for free now. Uh, which is the case of, for example, Karel Čapek, a very popular uh, Czech author. Uh, well, so, for example, his brother, Josek Čapek, uh, wrote a book about a little dog and a little cat. So, if you want to get it, you can click on Získat. And now you can uh, choose which format you, were, you want it in. So, PDF. Mm -hmm. Okay. And see, it's even with pictures. So, you can read. Um, when I was looking at this earlier, uh, well, if you go to Knihy ke stažení, so ebooks to download, and here on the right is více, more, so when you click on it, all ebooks, more, fine, and here you can specify what you're looking for. Um, unfortunately, I think it wasn't quite working when I was using this big HLEDAT button. Uh, but you can, well, pick, uh, oh, author, there it is. So, you can pick the author here. And, uh, well, other criteria you might need. Well, w what I liked here was, for example, comics. So maybe if your level isn't so high, or if you like uh, this type of books. Uh, again, let's have a look at, for example, EPUB. And when I open it, EPUB is something you can use. Well, I have, uh, well, what's it called? Calibre. Uh, so this is uh, a program that I use for EPUB uh, uh, ebooks, uh, but uh, you can somehow use it in your phone, or maybe Apple Books use the same format. Well, okay. Anyway, so let's have a look. Let's make it a bit bigger so you can see better. Okay, Sherlock Holmes. Okay, well, you cannot make it so big. Fine. Uh, so, going right. Holmes. Městské knihovně. Okay. Tak. Golf je velice zdravý sport, ne? A hlavně zcela bezpečný. Jistě přikopané, či hokej je plno zranění, ale četl jste snad někdy o zranění při golfu? Při golfu je zranění téměř... Vyloučeno? Oh. To je mi líto. Chci říci. Aha. 
Okay, so it skipped. But anyway, so see, pictures, not so much uh, text. So even if you're not on such a high level, uh, I think you can find something for yourself here. So mlp.cz, Městská knihovna v Praze, the municipal library in Prague. Oh, that's why it's MLP, municipal library. Okay, so I hope you find these websites helpful and good luck with learning.